Hi all, uh, happy Mother's Day. Um, I'm just going to do a very quick video now on how to make Yorkshire pudding batter, uh, to make beautiful Yorkshire puddings. Um, so what we're going to need is flour, milk and eggs. That's all three ingredients you need and a little bit of seasoning. Um, so what we've done is we have flour. Um, easiest method for Yorkshire puddings is to do equal measurements. So in there I have equal amount of flour. To that I add equal amounts of milk. Um, the ramekin I'm using, this roughly holds about 142 grams. Um, so if you did want to measure, you can do this on measure, you can do this on weight. Uh, we're going to crack our eggs. Um, probably need about two eggs into here. And we've got, um, so I've got my flour, my milk, I uh, just want to fill this to the top. This is going to take three eggs because these eggs are slightly smaller, depending what size eggs you're using. And these are little tiddlers. So it's probably going to take. Yeah, so that's um, three eggs. So what we're doing is, you can see now the ramekins just full. So I've done exactly the same amount of flour, exactly the same amount of milk, and exactly the same amount of egg. Pop it all in. Now, do this either two ways, get a whisk, whisk it up. Um, but personally, I'm just gonna use my little stick blender. So that's all blitzed up beautifully, um, all mixed together, make sure I've got right corners. Like I say, you can do it with a hand whisk, um, pretty simple, um, just to whisk it all up. Um, and then what we're going to do is, um, I've got, I haven't actually got any Yorkshire pudding tins, so I'm going to be using, if I move my board, I've got a little cast iron metal dish. Um, to that I've just added a tiny amount of oil. Like I say, I'm just looking to cover the bottom of the dish with a little bit of oil. There's not much oil in there, I hope whether you can see that on the camera very well. Um, and that is just then, we're going to pop that into the oven. Put my chef's jacket down so it doesn't look like I've got boobies. Um, I'm just wearing a very nice Chef Work Springfield jacket, uh, which is really nice and comfy for cooking in. Um, so these are going to go in the oven. I've already got some in the oven preheating. Uh, you need to put them in there for about 15-20 minutes just to get the oil hot and this will help them when you put your Yorkshire batter mix in. Ideally if you've got time make your batter in advance, you know pop it into the fridge it's not going to hurt it. Um, like I say I'm doing this in real time um, but ideally in the industry we would normally make it up either the night before or pop it in the fridge um, for a few hours just to chill it back down and it does I think does help the Yorkies when they come to rising but we're going to make some big bad boy Yorkies in here. Uh, to have with our, we're going to have a nice um, lamb dinner tonight, uh, which we've got some nice PGI uh, Welsh reared lamb, um, which I've, I'm going to be cooking up now um, in the next few hours, and hopefully do a little video with them, and maybe do some ratatouille with a bit of gravy. We're having a Yorkshire pudding because it's roast on Sunday. Should we have roast with a lamb? Maybe not, but you know, a roast and Yorkshire puddings go well, whatever meat it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my trays out of the oven now. So I've got two here that I'm going to do. This mix that I've done roughly around about 140 grams of flour, 140 grams of milk, 140 grams of egg. Um, I'm going to add a little pinch of salt into the mix and that's all I'm going to add. 
And then to this then, what we're going to do, um, and you can count uh, a few seconds worth of pouring. Like I say, if you do it, we used to do 10 or 15 second Yorkies, um, or twos and threes as we used to call them. And then we're just going to pour in. You're just looking to cover the bottom of the tray of the Yorkshire pudding mix. And you literally just want a, probably about half a centimetre of mix in each one. These are a little bit bigger pans than maybe what you have at home. Um, but you could also do them in, if you have a uh, frying pan with a metal handle, make sure it's metal, not plastic, because it will melt everywhere. You can uh, put, again, same amount of oil in there, and then put that into your oven, then pour your mix into there, and you'll have a big Yorkshire pudding, the ones that you see on adverts where they've got filled with vegetables and beef in, so they're really cool and fun to do, and they're a good little show showstopper. Um, so my mix is in. If you can see that. And that's now literally my oven's on about 220. Uh, you want some high heat to start, so you want to get the high heat in there first, just to start getting the Yorkshire pudding lifting. Um, and what we're going to do is let them cook. Then once they start rising, I'll just turn the temperature down to about 185 and just let the Yorkshire pudding mix cook out. These will take a little bit longer due to size. Normal Yorkshire puddings, you're looking around about 10 minutes for them to cook, 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, but don't open the oven door. That is key. You know, if you want to sabotage someone's Yorkies, open the oven door. They will sink and they won't rise back up again. So what we're going to do, we're going to put these in the oven. Um, and then I'll pop some pictures on social media later of the cooked products. And hopefully they've risen.